Hi, it's Saturday morning. Quick update on Hurricane Matthew, which has continued to move up the coastline and has now moved just inland northeast of Charleston, South Carolina. So an official landfall has occurred, but that is not really the point anymore with this system as the main impacts of the storm continue to be widespread to the north and northwest of the center with very little now going on offshore, which is what typically happens as these systems come up the coast. The inland side in the northwest quadrant becomes the worst part, and we currently are still dealing with life-threatening hazards primarily from flooding, and the storm surge inundation on the coast is still a big deal. We're still talking about a lot of wind with this system, although you might see you might not see a closed eye anymore. This still has a lot of water that it is pushing. Airplane in there right now continuing to find a pressure of 967. That's very low and indicates a very large wind field with the system that is pushing a lot of water toward the coast. All of these winds here are about hurricane force coming off the water, so you get a lot of ocean waves and surge getting pushed into the coast and so we have a lot of storm surge concerns from uh, still mostly Charleston northward. We still see the warning down here near Savannah. Waters here will start to recede during the day as the center is now here so the wind is now offshore pushing some of that water back out. But near and north of Charleston up to Cape Fear we're very concerned over the next few hours storm surge up to five to seven feet could be possible above ground level. This is life-threatening if you live in low-lying areas. And there are storm surge watches and warnings up north of Cape Fear and into Pamlico Sound as well, where storm surge of two to four feet could still occur in here. And a few feet of water is enough to wash away cars and houses. So storm surge still a life-threatening concern from Matthew. And in addition to that, we have all this rain coming down in areas that are flood prone in the Carolinas and this is not a good situation up to 15 inches could fall in localized spots uh, please pay attention to your National Weather Service local forecast office for details on your particular area in terms of flooding flash flood warnings that may be occurring in association with Matthew this is the current QPF forecast showing precipitation from right now this is on top of what has already fallen in some areas and you can see an additional 10 inches is possible over portions of North Carolina and we've already seen a lot of rain over Georgia and South Carolina over the last day or two so flooding a big time concern both from the ocean and from freshwater rainfall life-threatening concerns for Matthew and this is going to continue to move up the coast here and is not expected to really uh, move far inland but again primary impacts remain northwest of the center this is the NHC forecast track again showing a track back offshore pretty quickly here uh, and then moving off by 8 a.m. Sunday to the south of Cape Hatteras and flooding could still be a concern in here during that time as we go into tomorrow and this will continue to bring hazards throughout the rest of the weekend and then out into the open ocean uh, weakening as it has continued to do into a post-tropical cyclone according to the National Hurricane Center by that time and it's not really clear whether the system will continue out this way or do that loop around track that some models have been forecasting over the last few days. Either way, it is expected to weaken and become post-tropical. And even if it does still take this loop around, it's not really a big concern for the Bahamas at this point, as it is expected to be a remnant low without much weather with it. Uh, this is a frame from the GFS 12Z today at 48 hours. So this would be Monday morning. That would be Matthew. This would be Nicole. It's not clear. There's a big high over here with a steering flow out of the south, big high over the eastern U.S. with a steering flow out of the north. Which one of these winds does Matthew go this way or does it go this way? It's kind of a hard forecast, but at this point it won't matter very much for anybody as even if it does come down toward the Bahamas, very little is expected to be left of it. And if it goes out this way, then it's affecting probably no Nobody, um, perhaps merging with a larger non-tropical storm system to the north. And as for Nicole, uh, this is still a sheer tropical storm due to the outflow from Matthew, and this could move up toward Bermuda during the next five days in the longer range, but we can talk about that a little bit more at another time. The current NHC forecast does not strengthen it very much, but does bring it near Bermuda in five days. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.